Welcome to Sonya Podcast. So I'm going to be talking about 14 restaurants in New York City where you can go for Valentine's Day or any special occasion. So we know there's no shortage of stellar restaurants and bars that can inspire spontaneous restaurants or just lust. But for a special occasion like Valentine's Day engagements or date night with potential fine fiance material, now we do recommend that you book a reservation. Sorry, reservation within just the right ambience and food to enjoy while sitting across from your date and overthinking your improbable future wedding together. That's if you're getting married. So. Let's get right into it. The nine. The nine is a touch of glamour, but even though it has deep red color screen, color scheme, and rich ambience, the nine brings it up a notch thanks to live music covering. So they play funk and jazz, soul and classic rock. It's newly open. Is, is newly open. It's an open piano bar and super club in Soho. You know, it's inspired by an old school European hotel lobby bars. It sells like on the menu. There's smoked salmon with lemon butter. There's also a signature nine inch club sandwich with bacon jam. There's also custom cocktails, and they also do serve wine and fancy glassware. So that's one place. And for people who actually drink, they have a special type of tequila, passion fruit, and yuzu. That's one place. Peasant Wine Bar is another place. It's in the Tribeca area. The Tribeca area. So this is a wood fire Italian spot. It's popular on Elizabeth Street, known for a, rust- a rustic food and charm. It's initially ran up a p- ran a piece of pop up early in the pandemic, and the full menu currently include rotisserie lamb rag- ragu. Family style pig roast. It also has a wine bar. It's candlelit space. It also has a barn door that was once a previously wine cellar. So if you're into Italian food, this is a great place. Another place in the Tribeca area is the Tiny Inn Bar upstairs. This was built in 1810 and features a fireplace of some of the original marble brick and stone so it's also an american italian and french influence in dishes like meatballs roast chicken pan sear sea scallops if you're in the mood for lighter bites and drinks snag one of the five seats at the res- at recently launched martini and oyster bar on the ground floor for first Seafood, tuna tartare, cocktails like the black tuffle martini with black tuffle blue cheese stuffed olives. This one is in South Williamsburg. This is called Al- Aldama. So Aldama is a gorgeous view of the William Bread Bridge. It's a Mexican restaurant. It's the focus of street food of Central Mexico in addition to offering regional specialties. The space is separated into a small section with plenty of intimate seating and features of all over modern approach that are evident from design touches and plate wear. Another one is Don Angie. So, 
Don Angie is also an American Italian place. It was actually built in 2017. So you can have lasagna for two. It's also known for its checkerboard and dark marble tile floors and sleek interior design. It's even five years after open. What is on the West Village entry continues to be one of the most popular restaurants in town. Another one is Gage and Tola. Tola. Gage and Tola. This one is actually downtown Brooklyn. This is a legendary oyster and chop house. It dates back to 1879. It's brought to you by veterans, a wife and husband duo, you know. Use as evening. He has a reason to get. It's a reason for you to get dressed up night and prepare for some prime people watching of your fellow dining within an intimate dining room, all while eating a menu of seafood platters, steaks, and much more. It has an open tropical theme bar upstairs, Sunken Harbor Club, which contains no windows to the outside world to transport visitors to the ocean floor. That's one place. Last but not least is Hearts. Hearts is in the Bethesda-Stuyvesant area. This is a Mediterranean restaurant. Um, if you like clam toast, pizza, braised chicken dye with butter beans, grass-fed lamb burger with marinated anachokes, um, everything with natural wine and the way it grabs some thin seafood like sardines, cod liver, Sock eye salmon from the new launch line of products. So that is in Bedford Stuyvesant. So yes, go check out these places for Valentine or if you're getting married or whatever the special occasion with your significant other, your husband or your fiance. If you like this podcast, please give it a five star review on Anchor, Spotify, Speakers, wherever you listen to your podcast at. Please share. Please go to these websites, www.wavilo.com. Use promo code Sonya, www. Instacart 156. If you'd like to buy me a coffee, buy me a coffee. Even go to my website, http. Dot, dot, slash, slash, podchasers.com, slash, wordpresser.com. You can also leave a comment at son.ia9795 Instagram. Sonia Santiago Pinterest, Sonia Santiago YouTube, Sonia Santiago Twitter, Sonia Santiago Facebook. And you can leave a comment at under here. Thank you and much, much love. And happy Valentine's Day. Enjoy. If you haven't heard about Anchors, it's the easy way to make a podcast. Let me explain. It's free. There are creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchors will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. So... Um, if you want to make a podcast, just go to Anchors. It's free. You can download it on um, Apple Store. You can also download it on Android and just make a podcast. Have a great day. Mm-hmm.